Hi, um, my name is Meredith Lord, and I am the music magnet and or orchestra and pep band and jazz band teacher here at Burncoat High School. I um, wanted to say that we're having a really awesome fall getting back into playing and making music with all of our students. It's been exciting and fun, and I feel like your kids are the best. So uh, without further ado, I just wanted to go through some of the curriculum that I go through with the kids in the fall. We have um, starters every day, and we do rhythmic starters such as this, and we do two examples every single day, and they have to identify the rhythm, and then we say it and clap it, and this just helps to teach fluency in reading um, the notes. And then we also do a solfege starter. And there's two levels of this. Actually, I have about 4,000 books of this. So we have never ending solfege. Um, and what they have to do with this is um, identify the notes and be able to sing it back, um, which promotes reading fluency and melodic fluency and being able to hear the music in your head when you see it instead of having to have to play it out loud it just promotes like a oral fluency we also do a theory book every single day a magnet one starts right at the very basic level of what's on a staff and we quickly move through this book in the beginning um, learning the notes on the staff and learning rhythms and that type of stuff but the magnet two gets more into um, key signatures, 16th notes, dotted eighth notes, tetrachords, major scales, circle of fifths. And um, then we move on into, we, we're doing a medieval unit right now. And your students in magnet two are very excited to be doing some medieval music, <laughs> which is funny. Um, it's really, really great. I'm happy that they're happy. <laughs> so medieval music, we're gonna do a project on that soon. And uh, they're learning all about that. Uh, if we work our way from medieval to Renaissance, Baroque, and then classical. And then we, we start talking about, well, romantic music and then the more modern uh, 20, 20th century music throughout their entire time here at Burnco. Um, so they get a little bit of history. Um, AP music is, uh, the third level that I teach and we, it's, it's a big jump up. This is, this is like taking, uh, the first year of music theory in college and right now, um, and I have a really comprehensive, um, curriculum for that. Um, right now we're working our way through, we're at the end of unit one on AP college central. So they should be working on finishing up their assignments in the College Cent Central website. Um, but, you know, chapter two, and there's all kinds of activities for them to be completing um, and homework. And then we'll be working our way through chapter three pretty soon. So um, the kids are doing great there. And it's nice that they have good enthusiasm for it. In band and orchestra, um, Mr. Ramoni teaches the string orchestra, so it's just strictly strings, but I take all of the winds, percussion, and string students for something called symphony orchestra. And we rehearse Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, period seven. And we're, we're hoping to have a winter concert um, in person on December 20th. So um, be on the lookout for that. It's It should be a really great, uh, performance since it's our first one since fame of 2020 and um, the kids are sounding great they're really working hard and they came back to school with a really positive um, happy and excited uh, attitudes they're they're practicing hard oh we also are going to have our music magnet recital for students who are taking lessons with us um, those students are expected to perform a recital and show off everything that they have learned so far this year. That day is going to be on November 10th at 6.30 p.m. or 6 o'clock p.m. And so you'll be getting something uh, on notice about that soon. 
and there are a few students who are auditioning for central districts um, in mid-November as well. So make sure your kids are practicing. Your kids should be practicing their instruments at home every single day, at least minimum 20 minutes. Make sure that they have a, a quiet space where they can focus and set their music up. And uh, they should have a music stand. If you don't have a music stand, I can show you where to get one, or I can uh, let you borrow one from the school. That's fine too. And um, yeah, they, the most important thing is that they're getting some practice time in at home to think about what they're doing on their instrument. Um, the lessons are picking up and they're going great. We've had a few in-person lessons. We still have a few teachers who are online and it, I feel like it's like very exciting and good. The kids are all really happy with their lessons teachers. Um, and what else? Oh, we, we had our first pep band performance a couple of weeks ago and we're working towards our next one at the next football game or our next football game, which is going to be October 23rd um, at Foley Field at noon. So we'll also be on the lookout for an email from me about those details. Uh, the pep band's been doing awesome. They have great, full, powerful sound uh, in, in this rehearsal room when everybody's here. I hope a lot more people can show up to this game next time so we can um, really put our best foot foot forward. <laughs> I guess I can show you my teaching space right now and um, bring you on a little tour of the music department. So we have music everywhere, but um, this is our students' performance space. Mm -hmm. And we come in here and make music every single day. And it's nonstop all day long, very, very busy room. And we like it that way. The kids, the kids are so happy to be playing music. So I guess uh, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me. Um, my email is lordm at worcesterschools.net, and I hope you have a great time at Burnco.